I got a couple minutes tonight and I thought I'd take a moment to kind of show why a really flat frequency response advertised by a speaker out of the box is probably not that critical in a home theater room. The position of your ears, the position of the speakers, the position of the microphone, all that stuff really play havoc with the frequency responses we measure. So that's what I'm going to try to show tonight. This is my theater room. My uh, Mackie C200s are behind this AT screen. It's a fairly large space. Probably about 22 feet deep. Microphone's over the center chair. Basically centered in the screen. And I captured a frequency response, so I'm going to start the, the, the sweep here in a minute. This is track two off the OmniMic CD. And I moved the mic until it was actually pretty flat. Pretty enviable frequency response. And I'm going to show you, this is with no EQ. I turned all the EQ off on my system. And it's showing the frequency response there, showing 100 hertz to 20,000 hertz. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to slightly adjust the microphone. And we're going to see what happens to the frequency response. Alright, you can see the frequency response overlays perfectly. What I'm going to try to do here is get the frequency response on the side of the laptop. Actually, you can see just moving the laptop, change the high end a little bit, even just that alone. Now, let's do this. Let's bump the microphone like this, and then let's see what happens to the frequency response. Two. Monophonic short sign sweep. That's about a 10 dB drop at 2K. Now let's say I just picked a different position entirely. This is basically back at its starting position and there's a 10 dB difference at the top end of the 20,000 frequency range. Let's say I picked a slightly different mic position. Instead of right there, we're going to put it back here. Let's see what happens. Alright, and let's say I don't have a mic stand and I just put it on the top of my of my chair there like this. See, it's different. Maybe you can see it there. Okay, here's my mic. Put them both in the picture at the same time. That's the frequency response. chair was slightly forward. So now I'm up about a foot of where I measured before. A little further than that. These aren't tiny changes. Each one of those vertical axes on uh, the scale is 5 dB. So it's pretty significant differences just moving the mic about. And remember this is not EQ'd for this position. This is just raw sound coming out of the receiver on that track too. So you can see just, I'm, I've never moved this more than about a foot from its original location. So in, in just about a foot of range, I'm losing 10, 10 dB all over the place. I mean, it's like this is the same speaker, and you could be looking at multiple different speakers based on the frequency response. That's why... That's why a flat frequency response really doesn't make a whole lot of difference when you're actually putting it in your room and listening the way it was designed in the theater. 